holy crap, I'm back. Um, yeah, I apologize greatly for not being here for, like, ever, and I'm really sorry about that. It's just real life got in the way, like, the plays and projects and finals and moving everybody on my floor out and moving myself out, so lots of things going on, so I'm really sorry that I've missed all these weeks, and I missed you guys, and, um... It's good to be back. I'm at home now. Um, I got back here on Sunday, and as you can hear, I'm sick, which sucks, but I'll get through it. It's just a cold. Probably just getting used to the pollen from Connecticut after being in Maine, where everything else is still kind of starting to flower, because Maine is apparently a uh, frozen wasteland and uh, two weeks behind Connecticut weather. So. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I haven't really been doing anything of interest. The plays went really well. Uh, we had a great turnout. Um, everybody really liked it, which was nice. Um, the president of the college liked it so much that he went to both nights. We were showing the same thing, and he came anyway, so he supports the arts, and this is a good thing. Um... Let's see. I believe this week's challenge theme thing was to recommend a book or a movie or a TV show. So I'm going to do that. Um, movie that I recommend. Uh, I just watched it today. It's an animated movie. It's called The Secret of Kells. And if you don't know what that is, Kells is a place in Ireland. And what it is is a young monk, very young, like... 12, uh, his name is Brendan, has to uh, keep the book of Iona, um, which is an illuminated manuscript, safe from the Vikings, because the Vikings are douchebags, and they decide to raid Ireland all the time and take all of their gold and kill all their peoples. And um, it's beautifully animated. The music is gorgeous as well. And I think that... Uh, you guys would really enjoy it. Um, book that I have to recommend. I recommend Watership Down by the name of the author escapes me. So it's really good literature um, for those of you who are book lovers, which I believe is everybody, unless I'm making a mistake. If so, please feel free to correct me. Um, it's about bunnies. Um, and it'll completely destroy any previous ideas that you had about bunnies. It's really interesting, though. I think you'd really like it. So, um, by all means, pick that up if you want a good summer read. Um, and that's basically it for me. I still have to pack all my stuff up, or rather, unpack all of my stuff and move the stuff that I don't unpack to the attic. Which is going to suck, because my dad introduced me to these new uh, exercises using kettlebells. It's actually not a kettlebell, and it's actually a set of pipe with weights on it. And the exercise that he taught me to do, oh my god, they hurt! I'm moving around like an 80-year-old woman today. And, yeah, but it's going to get me into shape, which is good, because I am a fat ass. <laughs> and uh, that really is it for me. Um, Laura, I hope your dad's doing alright. Um, Deanna, I hope you go to the doctor and get whatever's wrong with you fixed. I know you have the doctor's appointment, because I'm a creeper and I stalk you on Facebook. Um, Megan and Mary, good luck with whatever remains of your school. Um, unless, Megan, you're gone. Uh, have you left college yet? Is your school out yet? I don't know. But, Mary, good luck with your, uh, last couple weeks of high school. Unless you're already done. And if so, congrats on graduating. I'm terrible with time. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey, all that stuff. Anyway, so um, it's good to see you all again. And again, I apologize for my ridiculously long absence. Uh, Megan, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.